Hi, today we're going to use a counting function to take one of the onboard clocks and divide it down to a frequency that we can use to either blink an LED or you know, supply to one of the circuits we need and do everything internally. Uh, what I'm going to use is Cordis and I'm going to use version 10 because that's the version we have in the lab. I'm going to very quickly create a new project here. We can see this uh, in another video I have, so I'm going to go through this procedure relatively quickly. Cycle 2, select my chip, which is right here. And that's all I need to do. We'll need a block diagram file. Now, what I'm going to do is use the LPM counter function. Uh, unfortunately, in this version, version 10 of the software, they've removed the wizard uh, for the counter that we're going to use, the LPM counter, so we're going to have to do things a little manually. Um, I don't know why they did this. In the version before and the version after, you can use the wizard, but in this one, you can't. So we're going to go into Mega Functions, Arithmetic, right here, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to select LPM counter. Now if we're just dividing frequencies there's a lot of options here that we don't need so the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of them so in the little window here that says parameter and value I'm going to double click on here and we can see the ports and the first thing I'm going to do is set all the ones that we're not going to use to unused. So just double click in the window, drop down, change it to unused, and I'm going to do this for all of the inputs um, and outputs except for two. The only ones I'm going to keep are the clock, which is right here. So it's going to stay used. And all the other ones will go unused. The other one I'm going to keep, obviously, is the outputs, the Q outputs, which are right here. So this is going to stay used. And I'm going to make these all unused. What this is going to do, basically, is going to simplify the device. So uh, you'll see when I get through this with here in a second. And I'm going to change the width. Uh, I'm going to make it an integer and I'm just going to control the number of bytes that I want here which is going to be um, 24 and then I'm going to don't need anything there just going to hit OK so you can see what that did here is it removed all of the other inputs and outputs that we're not going to need and just left us with the clock input and the Q outputs now this is a bus output so I'm going to talk about that in a second so the first thing I'm going to do here now is take my input input and I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to pull this back to automatically draw a little wire and I'm going to change the pin name to something that makes sense for this pin which is clock now I'm going to extend this bus line out now remember there's 24 bits on here and they will be numbered 0 to 23 so I'm going to make the name of this Q and then the way we do that in Quartus is we do 23 dot dot zero again with no spaces remember that Quartus doesn't like spaces so that represents all 24 lines now if we're just dividing frequency down we're just going to be concerned with uh, Q23 or the most significant bit because that's where the maximum division is going to take place uh, so I'm going to double click here and get an output and I'm going to put it on the circuit here now this is a single wire and this is a bus so I can't connect this directly to here but what I can do is I can name this Q23 just 23 so the bus line is 23 dot dot zero because it represents all 24 lines coming out of that counter we're interested only in the last one or 23 so that's why I'm just naming this Q23 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compile this. I'm going to change it and of course use the same name as my project. So that's going to compile. It's just going to take a few seconds here. And we'll see the message when we're done. And we're done. And I'm going to close the compilation window. Now I'm going to go to the pin planner. And I can see my nodes down here. So the clock I'm going to use is one of the onboard clocks. Uh, I'm going to use the 24 megahertz clock. There's actually three onboard clocks, a 24 meg, 27 meg, and 50 meg. I'm going to use the 24 meg, and the pin for that is B12, just like the vitamin. Here we go. And then the output I'm going to put to one of my red LEDs on my board. Uh, red uh, LED 0 and that is pin R20 right here and now I can just close this and I'm going to recompile again. Again the reason I'm doing the double compile is so that the node names are listed in the pin planner. I can just go ahead and put them in before I compile but I would have to enter all the nodes in manually. So that's compiled again. So we should be good to go, and now I'm going to program that into my board. There's the file. We have USB blaster, so I'm just going to hit start, and that's all programmed. And as soon as you do that and you look at your board, you'll see the red LED blinking.